Hey, what's up folks, how's it going? This is Watch from MW Technology, and today we're going to be doing a battery life comparison test with the new generation of iPhone 17s, including the Pro Max, the standard 17, as well as the iPhone Air. We're also going to be comparing it against Samsung's S25 Ultra and Google Pixel 10 Pro. Now, what we specifically do to our battery life drain test is run a video playback loop where we essentially play a video in airplane mode, 50% screen brightness in airplane mode. This is to eliminate as many variables as possible and to give the best and longest results with the screen on. Now, obviously your battery life will depend upon your real world usage, how frequently you're using the phone or a whole bunch of other factors. But here we can eliminate as many variables as possible and have a pretty fair comparison. We're also going to be uh, demonstrating how the previous generation of Samsung and iPhone devices compare against the newer generation. But the first thing I want to talk about is the overall battery capacity. And this is a pretty big deal, especially for the new generation of iPhones, including uh, the Pro Max, which actually has two battery life capacities, including the one that has the physical SIM slot, which is a smaller battery capacity of 4832 milliamp hours. And the one that we have, which is the North American eSIM model, has the largest battery capacity on any iPhone ever of 5,088 milliamp hours. The standard iPhone has a battery capacity of 3,692 milliamp hours, and the new Air has the, probably the smallest battery capacity due to its really thin and lightweight design of 3,149 milliamp hours. It's going to be really interesting to see how the standard iPhone 17 compares against the Air. Are we actually going to see worse or better battery results from the new generation Air? As far as the S25 Ultra, it's still using the 5000 milliamp hour battery that we've seen in previous generation and the Google Pixel 10 non XL version that we're going to be specifically testing has a battery capacity of 4870 milliamp hours. And if you get the XL model, it has a 5200 milliamp hour battery capacity. Moreover, in terms of charging, the new generation iPhones have the PD 3.2 USB-C standard, which with a 60 watt charger can get you 50% charge in under 20 minutes. You also get 25 watts of wireless charging, including MagSafe and Qi version 2 standards and reverse wireless charging up to 4.5 watts. The S25 Ultra is using the PD 3.0 standard, which with a 45 watt Samsung charger can get you 65% charge in around 30 minutes. It also has wireless charging capabilities up to 15 watts and it's Qi 2 ready. And also the uh, only one that actually has wireless reverse charging up to four and a half watts, which we've seen from Samsung for the past couple of years. The Pixel 10 Pro with a 30 watt charger can get you about 55% charge in under half an hour. It also has wireless charging up to 15 watts. It also has an 80% charging bypass mode, which is great if you want to improve the longevity and life expectancy of your battery, since charging to 100% can be detrimental for long term effects. So that's definitely cool that Google has integrated it in the Pixel. Okay, so now let's finally get into our results of our video playback test. Now, coming at number one was kind of no surprise. It was the new generation iPhone 17 Pro Max with that larger capacity battery and that high efficiency A19 Pro chip. It got a runtime of 31 hours and 51 minutes. The previous generation 16 Pro Max last year got a runtime in the exact same scenario of 29 hours and 15 minutes. The S25 Ultra didn't do all that great of 23 hours and five minutes. I ran this test a couple of times with the S25 Ultra both in 120 hertz mode and 60 hertz mode and it pretty much got within this kind of variant so uh, really things haven't really improved too much from uh, the previous generation S24 which got uh, 24 hours roughly. Now the iPhone Air surprisingly did extremely well. It got a total runtime of 17 hours and 54 minutes. The standard iPhone 17 got a runtime of 15 hours and 35 minutes minutes and we ran the test a couple of times and found similar results. The Google Pixel 10 Pro didn't actually do all that great despite having a, a decently sized battery of around 14 hours and 15 minutes and we ran the test a couple of times and got within this range. So generally speaking the 17 Pro Max is certainly a battery life monster in this scenario. Now obviously if you're going to be heavily using uh, the uh, cameras to do a lot of uh, raw and high resolution and high frame rate recording I can imagine that the battery life drops pretty quick uh, but in that scenario you probably want to have some sort 
sort of battery bank anyways, especially if you're using this for professional purposes, uh, for shooting videos and photos and things like that. But for general use, you should definitely have no problem in uh, lasting at least the whole day with the 17 Pro Max, even if you're a heavy duty user. So certainly the best battery life on any iPhone ever and uh, pretty impressive to see nonetheless. I'm kind of disappointed with the S25 Ultra. Uh, basically, we've had this similar battery capacity and the overall efficiency of the chipset hasn't really improved too much from uh, a couple of years anyways. So uh, certainly that's kind of a disappointment and an even bigger disappointment is the Google Pixel 10 Pro. Uh, perhaps uh, the uh, new uh, 10 Pro XL will certainly have better battery life than the standard uh, Pro model, uh, but even uh, the uh, standard iPhone 17, as well as the Air, which is so much lighter and thinner, is getting a few more hours of battery life uh, compared to the Pixel anyways. But really on that, guys, that's really it. Now, if you're interested to see how the 17 Pro Max compares against the Pixel and S25 Ultra in a camera test, definitely check out our video for that. And in the meantime, if you haven't done so already, please Please make sure to like and subscribe and have post notifications and check out the description for everything we've talked about. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Take care.